Yes, my name is Bench and welcome back to another Star Made Logic tutorial. In the last episode, we were looking at this, how we can use the different functionality that's been added in for display modules to be able to manipulate the content of display modules. In this episode, we'll be looking at how we can compare the contents of two display modules using the sensor block in order to detect whether or not they match, essentially allowing us uh, to have the functionality of uh, comparing for passwords and as such. But let's jump right on into it with the basics. You can see we've got two display modules here. They both have no data. If I make one empty, like so, and the other one I'm going to use our brand new tag, password. And it's all capital letters between square brackets and I'm going to say my password is me, bench. Easy done. You'll see it's disappeared now, but it is still there. So that's the essentially what you need to do in order to set up your basic password setup. It's um, the password in a display module and you'll also have a display module that you use as the one that people actually put their content into or their um, test version, whatever you want to call it, what the, the password they're entering and then it's comparing. So if we go in here and we look for our You'd assume I know where it is, but I don't. Everyone's on suspense. What block is he going to go for? What block? That one there. Public permission. Right over top. Of course I'm not seeing it. So if this is faction and you want to enable people to have access to it, you want to make sure that there's a permission block for the actual display module here. But let's jump into the actual circuit itself. So as per usual, we need the sensor block and we're going to connect it to both our display modules so it knows what it's comparing to. We're also going to connect it to a activation module. And this needs to be on. This is going to say, I want to know when these equal true. And we will put a activation module next to our actual sensor block. You'll note that it's not connected and this will be our light. And so the light or your output, basically anything that you want to let you know that it has actually been checked and has turned up green or correct. So now we'll connect our button to our sensor block and this is just going to let us be able to control when it checks. So if I type in a password and hit do button, nothing happens. But if I type in the correct password, bench, and push it, hey, green light. And there we go. If I now delete the content and hit it again, you'll see it goes off. The other thing I can do is type it in here with the content and bench, and it will still do the same thing. So it doesn't matter whether or not it has the tag, it will still compare. So that is the basics of the sensor block. The other thing we can do is actually, instead of using a button, we can always have it on a clock, like so, and put that in there, and so it'll keep detecting, but it won't actually check until I close it and the content goes in. But once the content goes in, you'll see when it iterates through, it goes, yep, this is correct, and if I take it out, then it's off again. So that's the basics of how you can check a password using display modules, which is really cool. In the next episode, we'll look at how to construct a basic password protected door and have it actually auto clear so that you're able to walk through seamlessly. Until next time, my name is Bench and thanks for watching.